Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be doing my first ever tech suit review, and what better way to start than with the Finis Vapor Pro. But before we begin, let me just define what a tech suit is. A tech suit is a type of swimming suit that has been regulated and accepted for competition use by FINA, which is the governing body of swimming. All competition tech suits must have this tag on the back of them if they are to be accepted for race use. Tech suits are meant to fit very tightly for the compression of muscles and they're also water repellent for added performance. So now that you know what a tech suit is, let's review one. Inside this cool little carry pouch is the Finis Vapor Pro. So, here it is. The Finis Vapor Pro comes in a variety of different sizes, ranging from size 22 to size 32. So Finis, they offer three different main tech suits. The Fuse, which is the cheapest one, the Rival, the most expensive, and then this, the Vapor Pro, which is the middle child, sort of. This comes in at about 100 to 110 pounds. I'll link the cheapest price down below. This is by far the oldest of the three Finis tech suits. This, this came out about six or five or six years ago, so it's quite old. It's been my one and only tech suit since December of 2019, and I find it's been really durable. This is probably because I haven't been racing since March this year, but still, I have been racing quite a lot, and it has been very durable, and I'd recommend it if you wanted to go for something that'll last a long time. For the budget, £100 price point, it has some features that you wouldn't expect on such a budget suit, including the silicon waist and also silicon leg grippers. You should always go for a tech suit with these because otherwise the tech suit will probably fall off in case you buy it too loose or something. It's also got bonded seams which you don't usually see on such a cheap suit. You would usually see stitch seams which aren't as well made and they usually break apart quite quickly. On the inside of the suit you also find some more, more thick um, bonded seams on the front and the back. This is good. This will also help with compression. You've also got the signature Finis yellow straps that I haven't treated very well because I tried to cut them. They are quite long. I don't need them this long. Comfort wise, it's very easy to get on. It takes about three or four minutes compared to the usual 20 minutes that I've had from past experiences. It certainly compresses your muscles, but not too much to the point where you feel you can hardly walk anymore. From one to 10 on the compressiveness scale, I'd probably give this a four or five. The thing I've noticed with tech suit is that the more you wear them, the bigger they'll become because they've stretched and they'll lose their compressibility. So they won't feel as effective and they won't aid performance as much. Because the first time I put this suit on, it felt super, super buoyant in my legs and it felt really good in the water. But nowadays it doesn't feel as beneficial. The only downside is the lack of colours. Although it does come in this nice sleek black colour, I would have preferred something like a blue, or maybe a white or a red or something, like they did with the original Vapor or the Rivals. But now it's time to put on the suit to tell you how it fits. So, as you can see, I now have the tech suit on, just to see how it fits and feels. So it is quite a low suit, sitting right below my hips, which I like. I don't, I, I'm not a particular fan of the high-waisted suits, although I'm yet to try one, so I can't really say my opinion on that. It also fits quite well on the leg, which I like. Don't like it too low, because otherwise it would compress too much on the lower leg. And that isn't particularly a good feeling. I've tried suit in the past. Moving on to the side of the suit. As you can see, the back part of the suit is significantly higher than the front. This, I don't, I'm not a particular fan of this type of suit. I don't know if, just, if it's just me or if it's the actual suit, but I like it flat. You should always have a suit flat, not one-sided. And moving around to the back of the suit, as you can see, no real creases or anything, fits really snugly and correctly, and it compresses just the right, just the right amount. It's quite comfortable, and it's, it's become a very tight suit because I haven't worn it in so many months now. I've also grown, grown quite a lot, so you'd expect that. I'm definitely going to have to get a new suit when I finally grow out of this. Probably going to have a few more competitions. And moving around to the other side, there it is. So, if you don't have time to watch the full video because you're going to swim practice or something, then here is a full summary of the Finis Vapor Pro. 
The Finnis Vapor Pro is a 100 to 105 pound tech suit with various sizes but only one colour. It comes in this cool carry pouch that helps keep the suit dry. The Vapor Pro fits very comfortably and only takes a few minutes to get on. The suit is made of 80% polyamide and 20% elastane. And despite its mid-range price point, it contains some high-level features only fa found in the most expensive of race suits. The suit is compressive, but not too compressive, and therefore I'd recommend it to all aspiring competitive swimmers.